to see you. Mr. T. Hey, how are you? Fantastic. Very good, thank you. Good? Very, yeah. good. Very, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, boys. Uh, yes. Enjoy coming down from Scotland here. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. yeah, get away from the kids. I know. Oh, lovely. Oh, Speaking oh. of children, um, how many children have you looked after in your time? Last weekend, four under the age of three. Wow. We were all in the house together. My sister-in-law was upstairing, and gradually the adults disappeared. And it was only me and four kids. How did you and I lasted 20 minutes. Did you really? 20 minutes, that's pretty good going, I think. Yeah, that's not too bad. What about you, Tony? One, uh, when I've got three children, yeah. and at one stage there was all three were under five. And my wife was very busy, getting a bit sort of stressed out. She said, Tony, I just need to nip out, just need one hour to myself. Will you look after the kids? I said, what, all of them? <laughs> 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 and I meant it. <laughs> you put me in front of the TV, I bet. Exactly that. Yeah. She came back an hour later oh, and they were still in the same that's position. That's the easy thing. I looked after 12 and I have to cook for them too. My daughter's got her girlfriends coming around. They're at that age now. Just gone out of the pink and the kind of lilac stage, you know. They're all into their music and boys. <laughs> That's all they ever talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a lady on the programme today who does a remarkable job. She's a foster mum. She's looked after 80 kids. Let's find out more as you welcome from Port Talbot, Avril Jensen. <laughs> No. Over a period of time. Over a period of time. So what does a foster mum have to get up to then? Well, it's just having plenty of patience mm. and listening and caring and just helping them as much as you can. Sure. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, 14 years. Wow. And you don't tire of it then? No, I love it. Yeah. Mm. What are you doing Saturday night? Babysitter. <laughs> 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 we'll give you a free fight on the Scotland. <laughs> Let's have a look in your bag, darling. <laughs> A dinner party, aren't you? <laughs> oh, lovely. Granny's getting tired. <laughs> there you go. All right. What have we got here? A bit of haddock. A yeah. bit of haddock. Yeah. Um, cauliflower, because I love it. Yeah. And I'd like to know what you can do with the bananas with the haddock for these. Yeah, oh, banana bananas and haddock. And haddock. Yeah. Interesting combination. In there, is, there was something with a place, wasn't it? Like what were you thinking? Fried. I don't know. I'm uh, wondering what you were thinking. Oh. <laughs> He's going to ask her for a telephone number next, isn't he, eh? Jamaican. Yeah. <laughs> How much did you spend, my darling? Uh, £4.97. £4.97. A lovely bit of smoked haddock. Mm. Notice it hasn't got that horrible sort of yellow tinge on it, OK? Mm. This is not dyed. This is the proper stuff. You happy with that, mm. Chef? Oh, I suppose it's delicious. Yeah, really nice bag. Yeah, good, good shopping. <laughs> lovely. A bit of cauliflower. Great. Great. OK, about to meet someone that you're quite uh, closely associated with, yeah? Yes. Yeah, uh, she's a resource worker, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome, also from Port Talbot, Lisa Kappa. <laughs> Now, I said to her that you're quite closely... Come and meet Tony. Hi, Lisa. Hi, yeah. Quite closely associated with you. You're very close, aren't you? Yeah, she's my mother. She's your mum. She is. And yes. she's a remarkable lady. She's fantastic. Yeah. She is. And so tell us all about resource workers. What are you... And did, is it because of what mum was doing over a period of time that made you go down that road? Um, yes, basically. We went in the, into it together, but mm. I decided to change roles and become a resource worker. So I get the easy side of the job, really, because I only work nine till five. Yeah. And I get my own life then. I, I work with children in care, mm. maybe out of school, or just helping them into, fit into life. Yeah, fit into nice life, stuff. isn't yeah. it? That's brilliant. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Fun. Let's see if you're any good in the old shopping department. And uh, will our chef go mad, or will he just smile sweetly at you? Oh, what have we got here, then? Well, we got chicken because I absolutely adore chicken. My mm -hmm. husband says I would eat it for breakfast, dinner and tea. I mm -hmm. love it. We bought um, an orange pepper because I usually cook with green and red. I've never tried orange. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a leek because I'm Welsh. Yeah, absolutely, darling. And you've got the old mozzarella pepper and uh, lasagna leaves. Very nice. Look at the size of those. Mm -hmm. How much did you spend? Five pounds, three pence. Yeah, that's not too bad. What do you think? Fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. Already thinking about some ideas? Chicken for breakfast, yeah, we're, we're sorted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's going to want to come round off it between them two <laughs> chefs. They want to get round there, don't they, what they like. Thanks very much for that. OK, what are you going to be cooking over this side then, Nick? OK, some of this lovely smoked haddock pan-fried with some crushed peas and a lovely little chivy cream sauce. There's a lovely veggie curry in there mm. as well. A couple of bananas. I think one of those could be a souffle. And one of them could be sort of cooked down in a caramel with a nice proper mm. vanilla custard. Mm. And, oh, there's a Cullen skink. Scotty mm. soup, Scotty smoked haddock uh, soup with milk and garlic and stuff. 
Does um, all of that appeal to you, or was well, some, some of it sound a bit funny? Some of it do, but I think it would. Which bit to sounds me. funny? It's the um, skink. Skink. You wait. Yeah. You wait. You. All right, then. You'll oh. be converted. Will you'll I? you'll be yes. converted with this cullen oh, skink. All right. I'll tell you. Looking <laughs> forward to that. Kitchen and port table will be cooking. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. What are you going to do over here for Lisa? I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a bit of chicken, chop it up, mix it with some um, mozzarella and some leek, and make. Uh, couple of raviolis, mm -hmm. serve that with a creamy leek sauce. Then we're going to stuff the other chicken breast with some mozzarella and basil and pan fry that off and we'll serve that with a fondue sauce made from the orange pepper. And we're going to cut some of this into fet fine fettuccine and we we'll mm. do it like poor man's pasta with garlic and chilli and olive oil, parsley, it's lovely, my favourite pasta. And then with the half breast we've got less, we might lick a little starter, kind of strips of chicken with a leek vinaigrette -y thing. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. Oh, Scrumptious. Isn't that lovely? Gorgeous. I just love the accents, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. But will they love the food? We'll have to wait 20 minutes to find out when I say, ready, steady, cook. Ooh. Up, up and away. Cullen Skink. That haddock's going to be used for. Now the other bit's going to be pan fried on top of some beautiful mashed potatoes there, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a curry as well. We've got a whole cauliflower here that look really fantastic. Chef's going to be cooking that down with lots of the vegetables that he's got here. We've got a banana that's going into a pancake, another one that's going to be cooked down into a caramel. We've got the potatoes. That's going to be for the cullen skink. Over here, right. one part of the chicken is going to go into a kind of a cannelloni. The other one's going to be fried off. Don't forget, the chef also talked about cutting these into little strips there. Just because it's like this, it doesn't mean you have to keep it whole. You can cut it into strips if you want to, if you've got some left over, and toss it with the garlic and everything else. And the mozzarella, well, that's going inside the old chicken, along with a fondue pepper sauce and a creamy leek sauce. Lots of stuff coming your way in the next 20 minutes. I think about eight or nine dishes there. Hope you can keep up with this. If not, it is all available on CFAX or our website, so check that out. But Chef, chef what do you want to do? Chop and boil down there, darling. Nah, right. Nick, tell us, what's the old smoked uh, haddock like up in your neck of the woods? Just right. It's fantastic. I mean, mm. you would expect me to say that, yeah. but it is truly, truly beneficent. Now, I just need to just get my uh, act together on this, because uh, my st the, the thing that can go wrong, two things can go wrong with cullen skink. Mm. OK, the first one is that you undercook the potatoes. So the potatoes have got to be cooked all the way through, so they've got that, you know, that sort of soft, mm. boiling to bits mm. sort of texture. I know, they're, they, you, they're too you can pull as crunchy, it's not have the same effect, does it? No, it's, it's, it's nasty. And the other thing you can do is overcook the smoked haddock. And how important is it to stick with traditional, uh, or, or with traditions, if you like, like the old haddock? Is it, is it imperative to use that in the cullen skink, or can you use alternatives? Yeah, it's got to be a smoked fish, I think, in okay. order for it. I mean, I mean the, the name cullen skink comes from... Uh, Cullen, which is, is, is a port in, mm. in the north of Scotland, where the, the fish has landed. Mm -hmm. And skink is just Scottish, it means essence. Okay. So it's, it's a soup which is, like, is, is the essence of the, uh, of the fish. Lovely. And, and we all thought it was only Ross Burden who had that type of information, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah. Chef Nick here, he's uh, coming up <laughs> telling us. It's kind of nice, isn't it? T telling but us you would, I think it it's really, from. really important. Yeah. Especially for somebody that runs a cookery school. You know, you mm -hmm. expect them to know a little bit about cookies. But it's really important to, to mm. know where food comes from. Sure. That's Absolutely. fantastic. Could you do me two cloves of garlic, please? Mm. Thank you very much. She's very biddable. I know, she's good, isn't she? And what I'm going to do with this soup as well is I'm going to some of it of the had it. I'm just going to pop that into a little baking something or other. Mm -hmm. uh, Frying pan? Sheet, yeah. yeah. Okay. A little bit of oil and chuck it and bake it through the oven. Okay. Okay. And what are you going to flake that into something I'll afterwards? I'll flake that over the top. Yeah. A little bit of a garnish. So just a bit of oil. Beautiful. Real Squeeze simplicity. A LJ over the top like so. You don't need any um, salt on smoked haddock because it's been uh, salted during the curing process. Lovely. It's salt and I'll come back and see you, Chef. Thanks for sharing us that. Thanks for the story. And let's find out what Chef Tony Tobin's doing down here. OK, I've got some of my chicken and I've diced it up and I've added some, um, what's that called, mozzarella okay. to that. And a little bit of basil. Going in. This is the stuffing for the, ravio uh, yeah, the ravioli that I said I was going to do. Yeah. So let's get some of that in there. Now, I'm going to stuff this other breast with... Um, Mozzarella, so I'm just making a little incision down there, not all the way through. Okay, chef. <coughs> and then turn yeah. the knife to the A little bit of water there, chef. Do you want to give that a little bit of a. No, 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 I'm just going to. No, no, no. I'm just going to. Is gonna that enough? Cut. Yeah, yeah, look, watch. And then I'm going to open this out here. Mm. Again, I haven't gone all the way through, so what I've made is a pocket. Right? Okay. And then this is a little jacket to yeah. go over that pocket like that. Right, so you do that, and then you get your piece of mozzarella, which is a different knife, like that. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Cut it into two. You're watching two. this. You're picking up. Um, yeah. Oh, she's just having a glass of wine. That's Do you want a glass of wine? Are oh, you having a glass busy. of wine too, Avril? <laughs> oh, I'm all right, thanks. You're OK, my darling. Yeah. All right. We're taking this Wrap seriously. Wrap mozzarella you know. <laughs> in basil. Yeah. Like that. That's probably too much, actually. Like that. So just get plenty of that in there. Then you put that over the top. OK, Chef. Right. And then you bring these back. OK. Like that. Mm-hmm. OK. And then into your pan. You've got your pan there. Nice and hot. We need to get this going because there's quite a lot of things to cook there. A little bit of cook that olive through. oil, a little bit of butter, and put it that side down to seal it. Beautiful. Right, and start that cooking. Now, That's what about the old mozzarella? Thing. What should people be looking out for, Chef? Um, they should be looking out for a little packet that says mozzarella on it. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, he's trying to, isn't it? The, um, I the, know, but the you best can get the... loads of different types. Yeah, you can get yeah. the ones with the cows, you can get... Yeah. Oh, obviously, we're talking about the old buffalo mozzarella. Buffala, with an A Buffala. on it. Buffalo is a male. OK, buffala. milk, buffala. Oh, OK. Yeah, mozzarella, okay. buffala. There's another uh, Ross Brodden in the house today. I know, hey, absolutely. Buffala has news on me. Yeah, he's telling me about his buffala. His buffala. Uh, yeah. Right, so we're just going to... Um, moving on from the bufala, Can okay. I do a little something? bit of garlic there too. Okay, and what about another job here for me? Yeah, yeah, we're just coming up now. Okay, put yeah. a little bit of garlic in there. Lovely. And what you're going to do is we're going to take this mixture. Okay. If you get yourself a couple of um, egg yolks, right? So separate some eggs. Mm. Well, that'll be a job oh. now, won't it? Okay, it's getting you going, isn't it? Do you want to work off? So tell me, Lisa, what was it been like? You know, your mum being a foster mum for the past 14 years, you actually having to share. Share your mum with other children. How does that feel? Have you adjusted to that? I have, yes. It was. I thought he just wanted egg yolks. He said he wanted just egg yolks. I think so. Just the yolks, yes. yes. It, what, what, going in here, Chef? It's going to... No, it's going to use it to stick the pasta together. Yeah. There you go, right. So we're going to make raviolis, yeah? <laughs> anyway, don't you start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all right. So what's it like sharing mum? Um, it's fine now, yes. I've got you could do one more. Go on. Yeah. I'll have a go on. Um, it, it was... No, it wasn't difficult in the beginning. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm women go on with it. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. It wasn't difficult. I, I help. I wanted to go down this route, so yeah. uh, I knew what I was going into. Um, now and again, in, well, in the past when I was younger, I suppose now and again I wanted me time with my mother. Yeah. And sometimes me time never happened. Sure, because there's other um, people around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But. But she's well, your she's mum forever, isn't she? She is, she's yes. She's always there. We'll yes. talk again, my darling. OK, Chef, how long are we going to be cooking this down for? Um, probably about 10 minutes. 10 OK, 10 minutes. I'm just making got... sure it's nicely sealed. OK, and tell us, why are you shredding that into those tiny little pieces? Because I'm um, kind of brunoise, if well, you Well, I'm doing two, two sauces. One's a creamy sauce and one's a vinaigrette. So, at the moment, mm -hmm. I'm just going to sweat those down in a little bit of white wine. Then I'll divide it into two. Some I'll add cream to, some mm. I'll add some vinegar, more white wine to, olive oil. Make a nice Great, look forward to seeing it. OK, let's uh, go back one? down here two. to the yeah. green pepper yeah. kitchen. See our chef's getting on, already tossing all those yeah. lovely flavours together. You know me, Ains? I can smell a bit of curry, chef. Tell us what you Got in well, there. we've got a bit of a bit of a curry kind of thing going on in there. That's what we've got here. Yeah. We've got some beautiful caramelised bananas in here. Just butter, honey, bit of lime juice. Mm -hmm. Okay, a couple of things on there, and that's then done. A little bit of uh, milk uh, warming through there for yeah. my custard to go with these. Sure, in sure, here sure. I've got the base for my skink. If I, I might just move that onto there. Wow! First time there. you're going to try the old skink, is it? Yeah. It's it's fantastic, fantastic. Yes. I tell you. Oh, so. now, and so far, what have you got in there, Chef? You've just got the onions and you've got a little bit of butter. milk and potato and butter. And, uh, yeah, and yeah. The, 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 the cheese, the fish. The we'll fish. go in there just in a minute. I'm just going to sort out this cauliflower in there. OK. Now, we'll how did it all start for you, this fostering? Is it something that you just sort of woke up one morning and decided on, or a friend used to do it, or...? No, it was Lisa thought she wanted to go into care because she thought it was better. Your daughter wanted, daughter to, go daughter wanted to go into care? What, because...? Because she had a friend in school that was in care. Yeah. And she thought she could have more if she was in care. <laughs> she could have more fun. <laughs> what, how could you do that to your mum? Right? I was young and naive, I didn't know. Yeah, realize. I think you were, darling. She looks a great, great <laughs> mum. OK. And was it easy to uh, to get into? Do you need certain qualifications? Oh, no, you haven't got to have no qualifications. You've got to, they've got to know every part of your background. You've got yeah, to have to do that. Dress. OK. Everything, but anybody can do it as long as everything across the board is all right. Absolutely. And you want them to know your life history. Yeah, absolutely, because they're going to check everything, yeah, aren't everything. they? Dealing with children, mm. especially in this modern oh, day and age. Oh, God, yes. 
Mm. Mm. And uh, now it was, uh, we said at the top you looked after 80 children, mm. but obviously not all in one go. So what, what's no. the most you've looked after then, Avril? Uh, five in one go. Mm. Right. Mm. And uh, that's pretty busy, isn't it? Eh? Yes, yes. Yeah, and uh, of course you're talking about children that have come from backgrounds that are perhaps not totally balanced, and so is, do, they, do you get lots of arguments and stuff like that? Is it easy to work with lots of children from different backgrounds? Yes. Yeah. You look at it and you've got to take every background different. You've got to take every child different. Yeah, yeah. And start from the very beginning. Mm. And as long as you're there for them, that's the main thing. Sure. And what, what in your words, what, what qualities do you need? What do you think is important if you're going to foster? Um, well, you've got to be there to be, listen to them, mm. uh, to talk to them. Oh, got a bit of fire down there, <laughs> darling. I don't know what's going on, yeah. <laughs> to so talk listening, to them, talking, talking to them. To them yeah. And just having plenty of time for them and sure. showing them plenty of love. Yeah. I think love is the key. And love is the key. Lovely. The we'll love. talk again. OK, we're halfway now, ladies right. and gentlemen. Oh, We've right. got bananas here. Do you want a bit yeah. more? Yeah, keep going. A bit going. more, right. Yeah. Get right in there. We are lovely. Right. Get right in there. That's it, beautiful, done. Job done. 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 Happy with that. Right. There you go. Just place them behind because you can feel it much better than you did behind. Yeah. Soft peak, that's what we're looking for. Okay. So that's just one banana mashed down. Yeah. Okay, with just a half a half a lemon, one tablespoon of sugar, yeah. and one egg yolk. And then just fold the whole thing together with some of the egg white. Yeah. Until you sort of end up with something that's got a texture sort of, of meringue. Okay. Uh, blancmange rather. Uh, oh, and like then a just blancmange, okay. Into a ramekin that's been buttered. And sugar. sugar. Okay. And wipe that into the oven. Okay, just wipe that Takes butter nine around it. Sprinkle a little caster sugar and shake out the excess caster sugar. But go right roast. up to the edge. A lovely colour and you get that oh, lovely. Fish. It's only been in there for about four minutes or so. Oh, All right, nine it's minutes to go, gentlemen. Through. Nine. Right. Down there. Yeah. Oh, so, God, so quickly. Yeah. We'll get rid of that. Another job. Right. Tell us what you did with your cauliflower, please, Chef. Cauliflower, uh, just chopped it up. Mm. Half of it went into the uh, the curry, which is uh -huh. potatoes, onions, garlic, curry powder, uh, obviously the cauliflower, and uh, what else is in here? Uh, some a vegetable stock cube, mm -hmm. uh, obviously the curry powder, some chilli paste, um, some coriander seeds and some cumin seeds. Lovely. And you're going to do some crushed peas next. And we're going to do some crushed peas. And they're actually in here. OK. OK, so the peas are in here. They're just cooking away in a bit of cream, uh -huh. along with a little bit of garlic. And we'll add some mint to those. If you just pick me down some mint. And how much oil did you put in the pan to cook that fish? A yeah. little bit of a tablespoon. Uh, yeah. A non-stick pan, face side down first. I'll just get that coloured back. You watch. Yeah, nice little need a big flame. There. I had a little tiny, tiny little okay. flame. I know, you like a big one, don't you? Well, normally, but he's let me show me up. <laughs> he's Tony, he says you've got a bigger flame than him. Is yeah. that right, Chef? That's absolutely <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, all right then. Eight minutes to go, Chef. And this is the old uh, fettuccine, is it? Yeah, yeah. Tagliatelle, fettuccine, yeah, yeah. Still, thin, sort of thin tagliatelle there. OK. Water for it. Three sauces on. Uh -huh. So we've got creamed. Uh, cre uh, leeks in there, which we started sweating yeah. off a little bit of white wine. Yeah. Um, and I've just added some double cream to that. Let's flip that over. Here, the white wine's disappeared. We're going to add some. Got more white, white wine there, chef. Yeah, white wine vinegar. Oh, and white, white wine vinegar. Wine. Okay, this combination is a, this of the is two. Regret. Lovely. What are we doing now. Mmm. Yeah, I'm sure. Anything she wants, another job. Tone. Yeah, yeah. I want you to. I think all no do. stopping. Just to slice this chili mm. into nice little. Don't rub your eyes like after that. this, will you, love? Mm. OK? No, don't scratch anything, all right? Just <laughs> do your little... <laughs> yeah, we know one there. Did you ever want to become mm. a foster parent, then? Um, obviously, I've thought about the idea, mm. but I think I'm far too young at the moment. Eh? Yeah, you have to wait. Um, yeah. A lot of patience required, then? Yeah, I'm quite selfish. Oh. I yeah. like... Um, I suppose I like socialising and yeah. I'm not willing to give 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Sure. Such a hard job. Yeah, and you realise because your mum's doing yeah. it. But you're, you are a, a resource so worker, that, yes. so the natural step up after that is social worker. Um, what about yeah. that? Does that something that, does that appeal to you? It doesn't float my boat, no. No, no there's too much red tape. Um, mm. I like hands-on. I love working sure. with the kids. Um, Isn't that amazing? Um, I have actually a friend who is a school teacher. Oh, yeah. And um, he's keep, now been keep promoted. Slicing. Oh, keep mm. slicing up there. He's now been promoted, and he's like a deputy head. He's obviously he's going to be a headmaster. He misses teaching the children that day-to-day -day thing. And we forget about that sometimes, don't we? Yeah. That people just mm. like, they like to be in contact with people. Tone, bit of tomato ketchup going in there. What's the no, idea? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to, to give it the, a bit of a base of a sauce. OK, it, and it's, it's something that we have at soften. home. You have tomato ketchup at home. All we've got in there is tomatoes with vinegar and sugar. sugar. OK, so everything that we need. That's why we add it sometimes in cooking. It can enhance your cooking a little bit. You can add a little splash of white wine or, indeed, the white wine, vinegar and sugar. And look at that. Lovely and gluey. You've cooked up your peppers. Nice, but even with a bit of cheese, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? What, like mozzarella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mozzarella cheese is the answer there, Toast. Six minutes to go, my man. Yeah. How do you switch off, then? You know, you're working with this children's situation all the time. You know, kids from sometimes problem backgrounds. Mm. How do you just chill out? Um, I like going to bingo with my friends on a Saturday afternoon. You're a bingo afternoon. girl? Oh, I love bingo. I used to go to bingo with my auntie. Have yeah. you ever won anything big? Um, well, no, because when there's six of us coming, we, we win the odd hundred pound, but by the time you shout to somebody else, it's 33 pounds. And by the time you share that between six, it's six pounds. I know, it's a few drinks, yeah. isn't it? Yes, yes, a few drinks yes. going on. Yeah. Oh, look at him, look at him, <laughs> look at him. Oh, Tom, did you see the size of his one? No, I missed it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're having it all happening here today, aren't we? <laughs> eh? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to From Flayers. From Flayers? Oh, sorry, Flamethrowers. <laughs> <laughs> From flares. I like oh, that. What are you like? Get, get them in. Oh, that's what my husband always says yeah. when you're on the TV. He says, he never says, oh, Ainsley on the, uh, Ainsley's on the TV. I always says, what you like yeah, on the TV? What's he like? What's he like? What's he like? <laughs> I know. I get that sometimes walking around the supermarket. <laughs> what you like? <laughs> Chef, we've got a little uh, um, olive oil gang here. We've got some garlic. We've got chilies. Is that what you're talking about? Just This is poor man's pasta. In, okay. When you go to Italy, they have this... Uh, Called uh, pasta aglio olio peperoncino. Yeah. Aglio is garlic, yeah. olio is the oil, peperoncino is the chili. Mm -hmm. And it is fantastic. You finish it with lots of parsley. Mm. So I'm warming up the uh, olive oil here with the garlic and the chilies, just kind of softening them, mm. infusing the oil. I've got my pasta in there, it doesn't take very long. And it's all going to go together. And I tell you, what, it yeah. don't half eat. It don't half eat. I know it's fantastic. Makes you stink, but it don't half eat. Oh, no, don't worry about that. You've got four minutes to go. Let's go back over to the Green Pepper Kitchen. See how Chef Nick Nairn's getting on. He's already taken out his lovely bananas. Remember, they've been glazed up in a little bit of sugar and wine, and he's just drizzling that on the top there. That'd be really lovely. Maybe if you want to kind of tone that down, a little bit of ice cream or yogurt or something like that. Up to you guys. We're certainly giving oh, you no, lots of custard. ideas. Custard. Oh, custard. Custard. Look at this. Beautiful vanilla oh. custard is. That's the only thing for you. Coriander. With caramelised bananas. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Coriander's the funny one that smells a bit petrol -y. Yeah. OK, looks a bit like parsley. Yeah. That's that one, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. That's it's it. That one beautiful. there. That's your coriander there, darling. Right. Did you have the lemon? Yeah. Yes, you did. All oh, right, let's get a few of these out of the way for you. So it must dish. be so difficult saying goodbye to all must those be. children, mustn't oh, it? Oh, terrible. Yeah. Terrible. How long do they actually stay with you for, then, Avril? Uh, the the longest one I've had now is so far is two and a half years. Uh -huh. So it varies. But on average, it's what? How, how much time? Uh, two years. Yeah. Two years. If they're in college. And, so, and you've me. eighty different children there. Ever come back and see you? Oh yes. 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 Pop yes. in for a cup of tea. Yes. Yes. And a phone call. And if they got any problems, give me a ring and I yeah. go and help them. So it's just, you're just a mum, aren't you? Yes. You're just, just a full-time full mum. You're giving yourself all yeah. the time. That is just amazing. Real dedication that is, ladies and gentlemen. And just be and knowing that they can come back to you at any time yes. after they've left. That shows a, a real commitment there. And um, just a feeling of com being comfortable with yes. you. Yes. Chef, what are you reducing down here, like man? Cream, yeah. lemon juice, uh huh, Dijon mustard. Mmm. Um, and uh, a little bit of uh, dry white wine. OK. And then we're going to add uh, a nice little handful of uh, mm. freshly chopped chives. Makes a lovely little very quick yeah. sauce. I was going to make a beurre blanc, uh -huh, and then I could have ran out of time. Oh, all right, then. But that so, doesn't matter, though, does it, Chef? Uh, well, this, is, not this, is, this, is, this is just as good. So yeah. you can little chives go in there. Thanks. And look at this. Look and at that. This is the cullen, cullen skink there. Uh, ideally, one. Chef, red onions or white onions? White normally. onions, because the red onions, you get, you get the colour coming out of it. Yeah. Which isn't quite as nice. But hey, that's look beautiful. And there's that potato coot. Oh, perfect. Look, it's falling to bits. Don't it's try done. that at home, guys, it's OK? Done, done, Our done. chef have got right a special finger just like that. Don't think about curry. trying Give that. Give that a bit of a stir around. Stir. Bowl, OK, please. there you go. Right, yeah. then, we've got a beautiful curry there. Thank you that, that, ladies and gentlemen. That, all that lovely fresh coriander going through there, too. Lots yeah. of intense flavours. OK, looking good, smelling oh, good. Fabulous. Are you feeling good? Yeah. I think there's enough time to have a little dance, <laughs> isn't there, darling? There you go. Oh, have a little bit of a groove. <laughs> Do you like going out dancing? Oh, yes. Yeah, well, yes. were you a rock and roll girl or reggae yes. girl? No, or a rock and roll girl. Yeah. And did yeah. your husband used to spin you around and yes. do that? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. you're not giving me any secrets <laughs> away, are you? 
Oh, I bet I can imagine what you are like. OK, ladies and gentlemen, lots of wonderful aromas. Can you smell it all, Jens? Oh, yes, yes, yes I yes. do you can. Yes, There's some wonderful done. smells going on in the kitchen. When we left Tony, he was blanching off his pasta, cooking it, I should say, in some boiling water. Now he's combined it with all that sort of chilli, the garlic, the parsley in there, and a little bit of mozzarella going in there too. Just finishing that up. Are you looking forward to your feast? Oh, I can't wait. Do you OK, yeah. there you go. One minute to go now, Chef. Remember the chicken we stuffed with mozzarella? Yeah. Right, it's sealed beautifully. Oh, all right. And inside that, I've got yeah. my fondue on the plate there. Mint. A little sprig of mint. This one, yeah. And a big Beautiful. Spoon. There you go. Big Fantastic. Spoon. And there's that lovely the chicken bit. just nestled on the oh, top there. Sure. Audience, remember you're voting for what the chefs hall. did with the ingredients oh, they were given. Okay. Think about that, OK? Really beginning to fly away now. Everything's coming out frantically. And doesn't it smell good? 30 seconds to go. Are you happy with your wine there, Lisa? Yes. OK, we've got, we've got to get Mum a drink any moment now. <laughs> All right, oh, look at these lovely colours, and we're talking about different types of textures and generally really simple ideas, guys. This is what we're here for, to show you the way in the kitchen, give you some great ideas. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, oven, five, four, three, two, one, stop! Wow, so much food, so many great smells. And I'll tell you what our chef's begun with. Nick Nairn had in his bag a nice piece of smoked haddock, a large potato, frozen peas, cauliflower, bananas and a red onion, whilst Tony Tobin started with a couple of chicken breasts, lasagna sheets, mozzarella cheese, orange pepper, red chilli and a leek. Well, our ladies from Port Talbot just can't wait to get stuck into this food. Am I right there, Avril? That's right. Go on, yes. you pick up your cup for me, my love. Have a bit of a go. Nick, what about a name, chef? Um... We would have done more, but we couldn't go any faster. Faster. Uh, faster. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Now, if you've never tried Cullen Skink before, mm. what do you think? Beautiful. Beautiful. <gasps> gorgeous. Say that, gorgeous. Gorgeous. You could be Catherine oh, Zeta-Jones, you know? Could. Yeah, same, just like her. <laughs> what did you do with your food, Chef? You continue to eat what you fancy. Can I just show you something? Just, just oh, have a nibble, and, and when it's good, tell us. When it's not so good, OK, stay stoom. Okay, stay <laughs> the souffle's kind of sunk down a bit, Ains, right? Yeah. And if that happens, what you can actually do, if you just watch doing this at home, because you're burning your fingers, but you can turn it out, OK, so it becomes like a little souffle pudding. It's very hot. And then you've got a bit of, a bit of custard left over here. And then we just pour the, the custard over it. Ooh. Like that. Ooh. So you've got that, that kind of go. souffle pudding there type of thing. Go. And you can just kind of into it like, like that. And you get wow. the, I think he's just got himself that. another couple of green peppers yeah, there, didn't yeah. you, Tony? Oh. Yeah. 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 Very nice oh. indeed. Enjoying that? Fabulous. OK, very briefly, Chef, what do you do with the Smoked rest of it? Smoked pan fried, pea puree, just peas, cream, lemon juice, mint, and then blitz down, and there's this little sauce that's just made out of it. Mm. Mm. Lemon juice, cream, Dijon mustard, chopped curry. chives. You keep eating This is a really bog standard mm. uh, veggie curry. But it's a really lovely combination of vegetables in there. We've got the, uh, the potatoes, the onions, and cauliflower. They work really well with uh, nice. um, those, those oh. curry spices. Quite hot, quite punchy. It's gorgeous. Just, I'm taking just... it warm with me. Yeah, I'm sure I'm you do. I'm taking it warm with me to cook. <laughs> mm, um, now, and what about that coming to Bananas and, in, in, that banana. and honey and, and, and butter. So they're lovely caramelised, proper vanilla custard okay. in there. And, and that was it. Can we get a little bit of a spoon mm. session and mm. just try just mm. a touch of that? Here we I are, think my you, darling. You will like that. Mm. That is good. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> <that's> 55. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Well done, both of you. She's having a good time, your man, isn't she? She's having a great time. And equally, you're going to about to do the same thing, Lisa. Pick up that cut, have a bit of a go. What about a name, please, Chef? It has to be Mum's the Bird. <laughs> Get right in the middle of that. That's where the good bit is, darling. That's it. Now, what did you do here, Chef? So, the, uh, we took our, our sheets of lasagna, a couple of sheets, mm. and uh, I made a filling, fried off a bit of chicken, mixed it with some mozzarella and basil, salt and pepper. Mm. When we tried to fold the sheets off in its raw state, they cracked, mm. and there was no way that it would have stuck. So, then we then cooked them in some water, took mm. them out, uh, wiped them up, dried them off, put the filling in, folded it, olive oil, and we baked it off. And you actually get a really nice, crunchy texture to the pasta mm. as well. So you've got two textures. That's served with a, a right chopped leeks, middle, yeah. cooked down with some white wine cream, chives, salt and pepper. The uh, other chicken breast we split open, do you remember, mm. to fill it out? Put the uh, uh, rolled the mozzarella in basil, stuffed the chicken back in there, got it baking off in the oven, nice and caramelised on the outside. The orange pepper we chopped up, we fried it off with basil and sugar and white nice. wine, mm. and a little bit of tomato ketchup, so you get a really nice fondue there. 
Um, the rest of the chicken put, cut into strips. We took some of the uh, leeks away, cooked it with white wine and vinegar and chilli and little bits of that yellow pepper and olive oil. That makes a really mm. nice kind of chicken mozzarella vinaigrette. Yeah, uh, And then here we just uh, cut our pasta into linguine and we heated up the olive oil with the garlic and the, and the chilli mm. and the parsley in there and we just like napped it through and then finished it off with some chopped Ooh. mozzarella. Mm. Cheeky little number, mm. isn't it? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 That Ooh. is lush. Is that lush? Oh, that is lush. Yeah, I have a bit mm. of the old pasta then, love. Is this too big, this mouthful here? No, I've got a big mouth. Have you really? Uh. Oh, darling, I can see that. There you go, right. <laughs> that went in easy, nice. <laughs> You like that? There you go. Whoa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, mother and daughter are absolutely delighted. But what do our studio audience think? Green pepper day or red tomato? They will decide as I ask them all to please vote now. And, well, just look at this. It's a close one, isn't it? But it uh, looks like there's a few more. Red tomato! Congratulations to you, my darling. There you go. Hundred pounds spending money there for you. Thank you. Okay, brilliant. Excellent. Thank you. And uh, well done to you too, chef. But uh, sure. ladies and gentlemen, I've got to add. There's uh, a little bit of something extra that Lisa has got for her mum. I believe. Am I yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Would you like to tell us about that? Yes, because my mum is such a good mum to me, and she's been such a won wonderful mum to me, to the foster children. I'd like to give you a day of pampering. She's going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> a day of pampering and facial products. Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, Mum, what you said in the story? Isn't that lovely? A nice day of pampering, and not only that, what we're going to give you is a delightful ready, steady cook hamper. Oh, lovely. Okay, you've been so wonderful. Oh, oh, slip lovely. a bottle of champers in there too, oh, eh, darling? Lovely. That's very nice indeed. Thank you very Thanks much. very much indeed, Chef. Always a pleasure. Yeah, always we a pleasure indeed. Time. Come and join us over here. We're going to leave you to have a lovely chat with mm. your daughter, Lisa, because we've got a quickie <laughs> bag to do, ladies and gentlemen. But mm. these, these people you. do an absolutely amazing job. It's uh, mother and daughter, Avril and Lisa. <laughs> Okay. I'm not bothered. He, think, nice. he thinks I've taken the whole. Oh, I don't know. You, you no, get no, a little I bit of emotional no, there. No, I think yeah, we all exactly. get a bit emotional. Well, I saw you fighting back the tears <laughs> your lip going like that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, care. we've got some uh, frozen rhubarb that's thawing out rapidly. You can it's, see that's yeah. dripping a little yeah. bit there, obviously, because our chefs need to get on and cook it. We've also Plate got uh, chestnut puree, some stem ginger ice cream, which I absolutely love, a nice bar of chocolate, pecan nuts, and uh, Jamaican oh, gingerbread. Uh, I love the Jamaican gingerbread. Uh, uh, no, uh, I've been around your house and eaten some of it. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, up okay. to you, my Okay. Um, <laughs> Rhubarb, um, sort of hot rhubarb uh, with crunchy pecan nuts, sort of all caramelised together with some nice ice cream. Mm -hmm. And then a bit of, bit of a bomb, mm. you know, like a baked Alaska type thing with, with the gingerbread base and then the ice cream and then the meringue and mm. then through the oven. And um, chestnut puree, uh, chestnut mousse and chocolate sauce. Chestnut mousse and chocolate sauce. Okay, well, Tony, nice soup with the old rhubarb. That's no, a classic. rhubarb crumble. Mm. Using the pecans, stem ginger ice cream. Um, we'll, we'll make a kind of a, a mousse, like a ganache thing out of the chestnut. <coughs> That's layer, good, layer up. The, no, it's not the same as yours. Yes. Layer up the cake. Be quiet. It's my my part now. Yeah. <laughs> layer up the cake, and then melt some, make some chocolate sauce, and pour that over the top. And um, and then we can. Uh, I don't know what else can we do. We can fry off the ginger kick um, with. Ginger cake. Something up, yeah. You know, like eggy bread, kind Ooh, of yes. sweet eggy bread, but ginger. Does it for me. With some chocolate and some chestnut Enough. puree and some stem ginger ice cream. Oh, what's it going to be, ladies and gentlemen? The green peppers <laughs> or the red tomatoes? Let's see those cards. <laughs> Golly, I've never seen so many red tomatoes. What's going on? It's with a bad hit time. Oh, I know. There you go. Let's get cooking, Tony. <laughs> Starts now, Tone. Let's do it. OK, let's oh, yeah, do you want me to do something? Yes, you can do your bomb. Your bomb? Right, can I have a bit of that and that and a bit of that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah just right, run away with it all, though, yeah? What can I, I do back, bring it back, bring it back. You can do for, Can you kind of soften it up, whip up some cream and fold it through and make no a nice little... I'll do that for you. I'm going to get on straight away with my crumble. OK. We'll get that all done. Let's just pick it up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's giving oh, us back a bit of the old... You want to have a cup of tea when you see the old Jamaican oh, ginger cake, I love don't it. you? I love it, I love it, love it. Oh, I know, mate. Just one of those things that uh, 
I might just right. uh, um, loosen the bottom there. There we are. OK. So it will just fall straight out. Mmm. What are you doing here? You're just this grating a, your butter for it's what It's a great reason? job, this. Oh, all right, then. All right, yeah, Tony. All right. We'll no, it there. just helps, uh, you know, it's very hard butter, which is great. Oh, dear. I'm um, not, not getting into this at all, am I? And there it we just are. helps me when I'm rubbing it in. Yeah. To make Why does it help you, Tony? Because I've just broken up into little pieces now. See how quick that is? Does that make it easier crumble. to crumble? Oh, I see. You know, the crumble. I'm not yeah, even going to bother with that. I'm just going to shake that out. Yeah. I'll... OK, right. mate, carry on. In, in with right. Some... What are you crumbling up your cake for, then, Nick? Uh, for the base for the bomb. Yeah. So I've just got some chopped up the pecan nuts and crumbled up the ginger cake. Yeah. And I'm just going to... You skanky. <laughs> it's going to be quite a thin base, the uh, bomb, this <laughs> one. <laughs> and I've got a plate here and a, a ring. Oops. We'll put a bit of melted butter in there. Pack that in there. Ice cream on the top, and then we're going to put some mm. egg whites. I need some eggs. Yeah. Separated. Six eggs separated here yeah. to go on the top. So, right. right, so I've got my butter, flour, brown sugar, crushed um, pecan nuts. I've got a little bit of cake crumb. Mm. I'm going to put that in a pan and we're just going to fry it off and see if it will crumble up like that. Yeah. OK. I don't know why this is making. It's making a weird noise, isn't it? Because it's natural. Yeah? Mine's fine. Yours is fine. Ooh, mm, yeah. Lovely action. <laughs> Quite smooth. <laughs> I bet you mine gets thicker before yours. Well, we'll soon find out. No, all right then, mate. We can afford it now. Sometimes things go a bit choppy. What are you making there, Tone? Toffee sauce. Sorry about all the beating noise, ladies and gentlemen. It's the only way we can get this done really quickly. Mine's because we've only got ten minutes to get all of this. OK, six minutes to go now, guys. OK, how much sugar are you going to put in there, then, Nick? About eight tablespoons. Quite a lot. So the important thing when you're whisking up egg whites, Ainsley, is to get the whites up nice to soft peak before you start adding the sugar. OK. If you add the sugar earlier, you never get the volume right. OK. You see me struggling with the volume there. Oh, I'm right, nearly there, mate. You nearly there? Did you oh, use all no, the cream? No, no, I see. Eh? Did you use all the cream? Did you want some? Yeah. He's got cream over there too. Now we're getting when towards the end of this at yeah? last. Yep, yep, yep. There you go, at last. Oh, God. That was driving me up the wall, that tone. Driving me up the wall, eh? I know. Everybody gets that stage, doesn't it? OK. Oh. You're nearly there, aren't you, Chef? Looking really? good. OK. And you just want that mixed in. You've got a little melted gonna chocolate. Fold that through. Well, uh, well, I'm going to make some chocolate sauce yeah. as soon as that boils. Right, give me a little bit of chocolate now. Yeah. Because we're going to do some eggy bread. Yeah. Right. And we're going to put that chocolate inside there. And we're going to dip that in some egg mixture with sugar. Can you mix some eggs and sugar and all that sort of stuff? And then we'll fry it off and that'll be lovely. OK, Chef, I'll do that for you now. That. There. It needs to go on there, and mm -hmm. it's just going to go in there. Bunch of ice cream, mm -hmm. and I don't. You can have um, half, half a scoop. Half, half a scoop? No, no, just kidding. OK. Whatever what about you want, that crumb? Are you going to pop that into the oven, Chef, or not? Um, I don't know. I don't think I am, actually. OK. Half a scoop in my house. Right. <laughs> This is I think if, if you're worried about that, ladies and gentlemen, I think popping your crumble into the oven is there's no way you, that it's uh, it's going to compare to, uh, to comparing it to sort of putting it on the top of the stove. I think you're far better off putting it in the oven. Do you now? Well, we'll soon see about that. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. You will soon see happen, about that. Can I explain to you what's happening? Okay. What's happening is the the the, the flour and the um, and the butter and the sugar is all starting to caramelise, and I know it looks like soft now. As it cools down, it goes crunchy, uh -huh. and then you break it up into little crunchy pieces and just sprinkle it on the top, and you have a, a crumble that you've made. Okay. Already. And so you can actually cook it, it in the oven without it being on top of the rhubarb, just on a flat tray. And the same thing happens as long as you keep it moving. Okay, sure. And uh, another little hint: if you we haven't got any, but if you put a few porridge oats in there, yeah. fantastic. It just takes all that, it soaks up all the butter and it all gets, gets in there. It makes okay, a great crumb. lovely, lovely, lovely. I think I'm going to have to dip that into a bit of flour first, that one there. Yeah, that's it. OK. The, uh... All right, then. Oh, Nick, you've got that little gun out. OK, look, Tony, look, look, it's just falling apart. How can you talk well, about what that? what have you done? No, it's not going to what I've done. It's not holding up. Yeah. Oh, look, look at this. I can't do that. Look. 
Ooh, make, like that. make it into a pretty shape. And make it into a pretty shape. Yeah. Oh, look at you, Nick. All right, then it's going into the flower. And there's three minutes to go, and we've got a quickie question too. OK. Yeah, Nick, that when you finish finished that, yeah. you just look, look, knock that about. chocolate into that and maybe this a nice is... chocolate sauce, please, mate. With yes, indeed, sir. Do you just do right. one of those? OK, so we'll just do hey, two. Hey, you're under pressure, Tony. Okay. Not right. at all. Hey, very quickly, Nick, I've got a quickie question here. It comes from Diane Ridgway from France via email. Good afternoon to you, Diane. This year I have a surplus of chestnuts and I want to know what to do with them, other than the normal way of cooking them with Brussels sprouts. Well, Christmas is long gone, love. Do you have any delightful culinary suggestions? There we are. Get them on the end of a bit of string. Right, <laughs> conquers. <laughs> On so the end of the bit of string. Yeah. They're all chestnuts. All right. We're about cooking with chestnuts. Ganache. Lovely. OK, right, what do you want with the uh, ganache? Is there anything else you'd like me to do, Father, you're going to take the credit for? OK. <laughs> Please don't stop. Uh, yeah. Nick, can you answer that question for me? Chestnuts. Oh, um, uh, roast them over the fire. Roast them. He's not absolutely <laughs> sure. Sometimes that happens with the old chefs, doesn't it, eh? Yeah, um, especially chestnuts. rubbish ones like me. I thought the best thing to do is, you know, don't worry, you can actually incorporate some chestnuts into your stews and stuff like that into your casseroles, all right? Um, the, the idea ooh, that, ooh, you know, you, you get them, it's kind of... A, it's the fact that we don't use them that often. Even Tony was kind of referring to, you know, the chestnut puree there. Why not actually cook them down, blitz them down, incorporate them, use them as a nut as you normally would something like a pecan nut that we've got here, OK? Tony, Right, actually, I've got a good thing to do with chestnuts. Do a, a sauté of pheasant, OK, pheasant breast, sautéed in the pan, with some apple and chestnuts and cider and cream. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, not a bad suggestion. I like the idea of that. OK, chef. OK, that's it. Wasn't you got to put some more of that on top, chef? Yeah. All right, then, and this is what? A bit of cocoa powder? No, I'm going to hit it with chocolate sauce. OK, chocolate sauce. Where's the chocolate sauce? Here, it's ready, don't worry. OK, and I've got this with one with the chocolate sauce too. We've got a hot one with the ganache here. Let's just take that out there, pop that on there. OK, let's just go in now, chaps. 35 seconds, we've got this and we've got some... Uh, I've got a bit of chocolate that's oozing out of this one here, Tony. Look at this. Yeah, that's lovely. Look at that, with that melted that butter. Are you sure you're happy with that, my man? Uh, if you're happy with it, I'm happy with yeah, it. OK, well, that's perfectly all right, then. There we are. Beautiful. 30 seconds to go. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful chocolate sauce just coating that like that. There we are. Thank you very much for doing this, All right, a little bit of uh, cream to go around the edge there. All right, 20 seconds to go. There you go. <laughs> ice cream. Ten, ice cream. Nine, eight, ice cream. Eight, ice cream. Seven, seven, six, five, ice cream. Four, three, two, one. Stop cooking! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just in case you want to eat it. Oh, thank you very much. And what are you going to call it, though, Tony? I'm going to call it rhubarb crumble, Jamaican ginger sponge, ginger ice cream, not that old chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? What did I do? Well, I made a crumble. Um, probably on, a little bit too much bit. butter in there, just, just kind of... Um, what's that word? Crumbed it together, got yeah. it to crumbs, and then I added some, some crushed up the pecan nuts, put that in there, some soft brown sugar, and I put some honey in there. And, Ideally, uh, oats or something like that would Oats would really, really soak, soak up. up the, well, yeah. I kind of panicked a bit, thinking that I'll, it wouldn't crumble up in time, so I, I tried to do it in a pan, but if you'd normally do it on a tray, mm. in the oven, and it takes, it takes a little bit longer than the time we had, mm -hmm. but it's still, it's going to taste fantastic. Mm -hmm. so. um, don't say this looks fine, I just warmed that up, that was already there. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and we layered up some of the ginger cake here with the chestnut mm. um, ganache that you made, mm. kind of chestnuts, and uh, whipped cream. cream folded together, and you made a beautiful um, chocolate sauce. sauce. Oh, mm. that's it. And we Wonder. fried off some cake there. You fried you, it off? You whipped up a bit of no, white and rubbish. made it turn yeah. brown, yeah. 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 And yeah. all of these recipes, ladies and gentlemen, Quite are available on our website. Oh, indeed, check out oh. CFAX. Hope you've enjoyed oh. it. See you soon on Ready, Steady, oh. Cook. I think it's oh. nibble time.